Welcome back to Ottawa Experts. I'm Moira Hutchison, hypnotherapist and life coach, and I'm here with my guests, Jennifer Dawson and Jacqueline Richards. And we've kind of been chatting about spring cleaning, getting organized, get, raising our energy, getting excited, yeah. getting truthful. Like that was lovely what, what you talked about there before the break about just really giving yourself permission to be who you really are authentically. Mm -hmm. And Jacqueline, I just wanted to touch in on what kind of resistance comes up with, with like, I think that you must he hear similar kinds of stories about people, what if, what if, if somebody thinks this of me? Absolutely. Uh, and it starts with interest rates are really looking fantastic. And so then the question is, okay, if I get out of that previous mortgage where life wasn't so great and I got that interest rate, I wonder if I change it up, could I possibly do it? They get to have a conversation with me and we will talk about there could be a penalty on that. Mm -hmm. Is there something else that we can do? Mm -hmm. Do we have the time to wait? Mm -hmm. Then it's interest rates are fantastic. My daughter wants to buy a new home. Can you help? Probably. What does she do? She doesn't. Okay. Okay. Um, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> Maybe you're going to help her in a different way. Maybe yeah. she's going to say, yes, I'm all right with mom and dad helping me. Or maybe now's the not the right time. Yes. And to be open to exactly. facing up to that. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I don't want to talk about it like the waiting game. But what you probably want to do is find a way to make those choices slowly and managing and thoughtful in what the outcome could be in 30 days, in 90 days, back and, to that. and back to the time. Yeah. Give yourself some time, uh, and sometimes right now is the right time. And right. don't be afraid to say, I want to do it now. Mm -hmm. I know, isn't that important? It's to actually understand that we are all walking this path of life at our pace, at our right pace. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if my pace is faster or slower than yours, it's my pace. Yeah, that's the right it's one. It's not about keeping up with the Joneses. Absolutely not. That's not the case. It's not. Mm -hmm. um, in this last wee bit of our show, we are all authors, which I thought was pretty cool. So I wanted to tell you guys about that. So let's start with Jennifer. I know your book's not out, but I'd love for you to share a wee bit about what that's at, about and when it's going to be available. I'm hoping it will be out in the fall. Christmas at the latest. It's called The Clutter Explosion. Where did all this crap come from? <laughs> How to declutter, get organized, and find peace. Because I found there has been a real correlation between letting things go and, and people allowing themselves to open up and let the good things of life come in rather than the material things. Mm -hmm. And there is a change of body language and brightness when, with releasing stuff. Yeah. Clears up, clears up the and, mind as yeah. well. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So, Fall, at, fall Christmas at the latest. Excellent. Look forward to seeing that. Thank you. Absolutely. And then Jacqueline, I know you've already got a book out, but mm -hmm. you have another one coming out too, don't you? Or is it out already? The Wealthy Yogini. So this is um, my book, Yoga for Your Personal Finances. The reason why I wrote this was it, that I am a yoga instructor and a mortgage consultant, and people don't breathe when they talk about money. <laughs> and I thought it would be great when I'm teaching my credit repair and restore workshop and home ownership workshops, they're like, take a long deep breath, lift the shoulders, take them back, drop them down, you'll be okay. <laughs> um, the next book is The Wealthy Yogini. Right. And so it's the same time frame as you. And it's interesting, you write and write and write. I've had the chapters done for a long time. And I wonder if I'm just waiting for the right time. And like I said, right now is the right time. Mm -hmm. So it is uh, in editing, yay, and so we'll awesome. continue Good to do you. some editing on the Wealthy Yogini, more strategies, more breath. Yeah. So f kind of following along from... from Absolutely, the yeah. Yoga for Your Personal Finances. So it will take a look, not so much at the chakra energies, but absolutely about the flow of where you'd like to go. I will talk about writing and scripting, I will talk about vision boarding um, more than I did here. And so I'm excited about that. So diving deeper. Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Awesome. Very yeah, cool. Thank you. And my book is uh, Get Your Life on Track Without Jumping Off the Train. Um, my, I, I mentioned at the very beginning, my whole um, mission is to help people get unstuck by helping them take back their power, um, 
really make their own choices, be very truthful and very aware. Um, my story is that I was in a very stuck place back when I was 18 years old and in order to get out of it, I actually did jump off a train. So I tell my story and I tell, I have, so I've told my story and then I share a lot of the wisdom that came from my experience and then there's, there's, I teach different techniques and strategies about how to, to um, tap into your own inner awareness and keep the journey going. So this is, a, this is actually available now on Amazon um, and uh, I'll be having it available at different places. Absolutely. Yes. It's exciting. Like I said, you know, we talked earlier too about all of our personas in, in, in social media. And I think that, that writing books is like another avenue to help get your word out. I think my own intention with this is that in, in my sessions, and you, you both probably find this, I say the same things a lot of times. <laughs> it's like, wouldn't it be better? And breathe and water. Well, and. <laughs> And so it's, it's like, it's nice to be able to get that message out to people that I may never even meet ever. And to just know that you can impact somebody, I think is really, really powerful yeah. piece about that. So right. the format of your book is that to, to kind of help people s see beyond their clutter and then give some organizing and tips? And it, it's going to be chunked out into different even parts of the house so people can, oh, cool. if, if one area of your home is, is an issue, you yeah. can just go to that chapter and work on that, work on that issue. So we, right from paperwork to your front entrance to kids' spaces, it'll, it'll all be chunked out in the book with the little tips and tricks and assignments and everything. So. Good. Yeah, yeah. So it's, so it's a, a, a workbook as well. A little bit of a workbook, yeah. yes. Yeah. yes. As is mine is a wee yeah. bit of a workbook. Yeah. And I, I, this one's a wee bit of a Absolutely. workbook too. Absolutely. Right? I've got all of the sheets that you want to take out and take pen, paper, and um, I hesitate. No, I don't hesitate to say your calculator. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> so that's Yoga for Your Personal Finances. But that's based on my workshop. Um, the Wealthy Yogini brings in principles a little deeper. Uh, Think and Grow Rich, the uh, mastermind. Right. Uh, Deepak Chopra and his seven spiritual laws. Right, yeah. So I speak to that too. Uh, a different space, mm -hmm. but it's a space that we probably all want to be in with and for and to, mm -hmm. just like yours as will mm -hmm. yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, is with a lot of those kind of things, people are saying very similar things in, in different ways. But I, I think that that's when you really know that you're, you're getting on the right track. But how, you know, somebody may read something in your book, but they wouldn't have got it from Deepak Chopra's. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like, and s same for any one of us, is that it's, it's how it lands, it's where the emotion is. Because yeah. everything we've been talking about tonight has such a huge emotional component to it. Thank you for saying that. I, that is absolutely it. And if we aren't assessing the emotion, mm -hmm. same thing over and over again, sign of insanity. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we just talked about. Yeah. Yeah, we did. So and so, you know, that's the other part. So so for me, uh, emotions. I think we need to use them as our guidance system. Mm -hmm. I've often said that it's like if if you've got a an issue, like if it's an, a a room in your house and you go into it and you feel heavy and weighted. <laughs> help me. Like help me. There's yeah. something going on. You have to face up to it. Mm -hmm. And you know, so then sometimes people might have to repeat that over and over and over again before they get the fire saying, hey, if I want this to be different right. and, and not be insane, yeah. <laughs> then ch I have to do some change. Mm -hmm. What, in closing, I'd love for you both to share a tip to help people get to change or the need to change quicker. Mm. What do you think might bypass some of that chatter and that inability to reach out and say, I'm ready, I, I want help. I think from one of the things I encourage my clients to do is set priorities. <coughs> and not too many. Every day, set three top priorities for your day. Yeah. Not any more than that, it's overwhelming. What are your top three priorities? And also, use a day planner. I don't mm -hmm. care if it's electronic, if it's paper, if it's a wall calendar. Yeah. Put it down. Our minds are fallible. We're going to forget things. Yeah. use a planner religiously yeah. every day and that will also 
help you see what you have accomplished, not just what you have to do, yeah. but what you've yeah. done. Yeah. It's not where you're always where you're going, and so you can go and see Check. where you've Check been in a day. Yeah, absolutely. So when you're beating yourself up at the end of the day that you didn't get things done, yeah. oh, well, I was on the road running the kids to 18 different places, that's absolutely. where my day went. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that, I'm very much in alignment with that. For me, I, I love lists, and I love ticking things off that list. Okay. Great accomplishment yeah. piece. How about you, Jacqueline? Aside from yoga, to allow you to clear your mind, to allow really great things to emerge, um, five things at the end of your day that you'll write down in your journal, because everyone has a journal, right? So five successes, and it could be, I, I ditched a couple of things out of that room, and I made sure that my dishes were cleaned, et cetera, et cetera. It can be absolutely that easy. It spurs on more writing, more I'm okay. And then you'd say, and I Thank made you sure. Thank so much, Jacqueline. That, that is all we have time for. So <laughs> gratitude, very, very important it, part. So I'm so grateful to both you, Jennifer and Jacqueline. Um, join us again on Ottawa Experts. I hope you enjoyed what we shared. <laughs>